Hello all, my name is Chris Petty, and in this tutorial I am going to show you in Reason and Record how to create the infamous Womp bass sound used in many dubstep tracks. Many would describe it as a voice, however you will see in this tutorial it can be done with a synthesizer and effects processors. In the rack window in either Reason or Record, let's create a Thor synthesizer. Let's make sure that the patch is init or blank. We'll do this by right-clicking on Thor's front panel and selecting Initialize Patch. Once we have done this, we should hear a basic analog saw wave when we strike the keys. It will sound like this. First, let's set the keyboard mode to Mono Retrig, and Polyphony and Release Polyphony to 1. Next, we'll expose the programmer, and on the analog oscillator, we'll set the octave knob to 3, and the saw will now sound like this. Then we will create a noise oscillator in the second oscillator slot, and route it to filter 1. We now hear a mixture of white noise and saw wave. Moving over to filter slot 1, we'll set our low-pass ladder filter mode to 24 type 1. Let's set our filter frequency to 184 Hz and the resonance to 93. We're also going to zero out the envelope amount. I prefer to control the filter frequency from the mod envelope because it allows me to sync the envelope's controls to tempo. In the modulation matrix, we'll plug mod envelope into source 1 and filter 1 frequency into destination 1 with an amount of 87. On the mod envelope, let's engage tempo sync. We'll set the attack time to 4-4 and the decay and release times to 2-4. On the amp envelope, we're going to set the attack time to 0 milliseconds. Decay time and sustain level we're going to set to max and release time to 13.9 milliseconds. We now have the basic synth sound for this patch. Let's create a Scream for Distortion unit, which should auto-route to Thor. First, we'll set the damage control to 38. Next, set the mode to Digital. This gives us control over the bit resolution and sample rate. We will set P1 to 127 and P2 to 57. Finally, on this scream, let's set the master level to 99. The addition of this lo-fiing has really made the sound take shape into the womp bass sound that we're familiar with. We're almost there. Let's create one more scream for distortion unit. Again, we'll set the damage control to 38. This time, though, we'll use the tape saturator mode. This will fatten and warm up the sound, as well as allow us to shave some harsh high frequencies off the top. Let's set P1 to 78, and we'll set P2 to 32. Again, we'll set the master level to 99. We now have the womp sound. So finally what we'll do is select Thor, hold shift and select the two scream units, we'll right click on the front panel of any of them, and combine. This will pack the devices into a combinator and allow me to save it as a patch that I can then recall for part 2 of this tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for listening.
Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.